All right, so the idea came from the, watching The Office one time where Dwight comes in with a pumpkin head and he, he scares Aaron. And throughout the, the beginning of the episode, he realizes that he can't remove the pumpkin. And, uh, and eventually it'll just rot out and stuff. But there's this single shot where he's just sitting in the cafeteria eating his lunch and he looked sad. So I decided to like, you know, that, that kind of brought an idea to my head and I started writing the script right when I heard about my road reels. And I only had like a month to, to actually write, shoot, and direct it. Pretty much the premise of the story is that he feels alone in a world filled with people, uh, friends, family, but none of them look like him. Uh, so he feels like a loner and he's just trying to find love. But at the end, he, he finds his soulmate. The first person I brought in was my wife. I pitched her the idea, she loved it, and then she helped me write certain scenes as well. She also helped me carve these pumpkins. And then the second person I brought in was my co-director, uh, Nathan. He was in charge of post-production, and I was in charge of pre-production, and we were both in charge of the production while we were shooting. Um, so it was very collaborative in that sense. Then we decided to bring in the actors, uh, Elizabeth and Anthony, uh, two amazing actors, uh, which they both took on the roles uh, of Mr. and Miss Pumpkin. When it came to the pumpkin designs, we first worked on the facial expressions and trying to figure out what expression we wanted him to have throughout the film. And then if we wanted him to have a different expression once he bumped into his soulmate. Once we had the, the facial expressions designed, we went to go look for the pumpkins, looking for something that was easy to carve um, and for our actors to wear. And so being at the store, we, fought, we saw the white one and we knew that we wanted the girl to be a little different, to stand out a little more. We added the flower crown um, to make it a little more girly. So the camera we used was the Sony a7 III and uh, we used the Zoom H5 uh, attached with the Rode NTG2. We got that. We got a lot of ambience through it. We did use it for um, Foley and other stuff like that. Right. And I just want to give a special thanks to everybody that helped me tell this story and and also to, to my road reel because with, if I wouldn't have seen this contest, I would have never like gone out to actually pursue and tell this story. So you guys are amazing for helping us independent uh, filmmakers tell our stories. And thank you guys. <laughs>